Welcome back to the Chew Toy channel. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to remove the lid uh, trim and also the uh, trunk panels and the flooring. So uh, one more thing to add here, uh, BMW did a really nice job in terms of looking to find out where the screws and the bolts and the uh, rivet uh, pin fasteners are. Um, you, you, you don't see a lot of it. So um, really uh, what I'll go over is that uh, for the, uh, the lid, uh, for my lift gate here for the Grand Coupe, um, where you'll find the screws that are, that are recessed, um, one on each side, you have one here, you have one here. Now let me go underneath here. And then when you remove this panel here, there are two screws here, one here and one here as well. Um, I believe they are uh, T20 screws. Uh, and then the order of removal uh, would be uh, this back piece here, um, the side pieces here, and then there's a screw underneath here, and then there's a screw underneath here as well. And once you have these uh, screws removed, you can pull this panel down. Okay, for the uh, trunk panels, um, they really did really a great job here. There's actually no visible screws or, or again, rivet pins here, as you can see. Um, also this piece in the back here uh, for this uh, plastic um, trim piece here, there's no screws here. Um, these look like um, possible covers for, for screws, but they're not. Um, so basically uh, um, where you need to remove all the screws is that there's a T30 bolt uh, behind these uh, fasteners here. And then behind this coat hook here, there's another T15 screw here. Okay. Um, what you'll also find for the fastener is that underneath here, when you pull this trim off, there's a fastener pin rivet pin here. And then behind the seat over here on the other side, um, there's a rivet pin there. So you have one, two screws, three screws, and two um, uh, rivet pins. And then same thing for this side as well. Uh, you have the T30 here. You have a T30 down here. You have the uh, rivet pin back here. Yeah, and I have another rivet pin back here. This one's easier because once you remove this, um, the only thing that's really holding this back maybe is the light on this side. If you have to fully try to pull the panel out, you have the emergency release latch here that's holding it back. You have the, uh, the lamp over here as well. And then you have this uh, cigarette adapter outlet here. Um, and there's a couple of things that you need to kind of um, remove these to get it out of the way to actually have more full access to it. So um, that's my intro. The tools that I'm going to use for today are really simple. Um, you have this uh, trim pulley here, and this piece is for the uh, trunk cover. Then you have the rivet pin uh, remover here. And then you have two bits here, which is your uh, T15 and your T30s. Um, I have a little cup here to put all my screws, and obviously I have my screwdriver and, and uh, power uh, drill as well. So uh, those are my tools. That's it. That's all you need. All right, so I'm going to start with the easy part first, which is the uh, the lid. Um, so again, there's there's not a lot of work to this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold down the seats here, so that I can put all my my uh, trimmings back there as well. So, hang on. What you want to do is uh, remove that center piece here, and it's really easy to do. All right, so I'm gonna get a pry tool to so try to open this up a little bit here. So I'm gonna to try to come in through the side here. Um, you wanna also be careful back here as well because there are um, cabling. Uh, so um, it, it, you wanna make sure they don't rip that out as well. So basically there's uh, these uh, rivet pins here, plastic uh, clips. Um, if they pop out, just pull them out and put them back in here and insert them. All right, next we're going to remove all the uh, T20 screws uh, from the top trim here. So for the top trunk piece here, um, you just pull that down. There's a clip holding it here. Squeeze those in, pull this out, and you have this out of the way. Um, so the first screw, let me take the, the camera off the mount. All right, so the first one that I'm going to move here is on this side here. Then I'm going to come back on the left side, driver's side, remove this T20 here as well. All right, next I'm going to have to do the uh, one for underneath. So I'm going to go underneath the, the lift gate here. You'll see the bolt there. Now 
it's all clear so now all the screws on top are at least there's two more underneath when you pull the trim all right so the next piece to remove are uh, this plastic trim here so how do you want to do this is that there's a space here and there's an opening here you want to pull this down all right so that it comes down and then you want to push it out that way um, because it's actually uh, it's like a c clip here all right so i'm going to grab from this side here i'm going to start to pull this down a little bit okay that's off and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just punch it out that way and just loosen it up Now that's out of the way. And just to show you where the clips are, you again have this uh, plastic uh, rivet piece here. You have another one here. You have another one here. And you have another one here. So there's four plastic uh, rivet pins that are holding it in place. So equally, I'm going to come back on the right side now. All right, so underneath that last trim piece that we pulled out, there's another uh, T20 here, which we'll remove. And also on this side here, equally, there's another T20 that we're gonna remove. All right, for the uh, top uh, piece here, uh, it's a little high and it could be held in um, by this uh, trunk release as well, the, the uh, controls. So there's going to be wiring here and it's going to be connected here. So just remember when you pull this off, this one piece is probably going to stay on uh, connected to the wire here. So just be careful in that area. Okay, that's a little firm tug there. I'm going to come on this side, do the same thing here. Go back on the other side, work on this side here. Now this uh, lid is pretty much off. All right, so what I'll do is I'll leave this here. Uh, my, my lid is really high, so I'm gonna bring this down here. Um, and then I'm also gonna release uh, the clip, holding that in here. All right, so I moved the uh, clip for the uh, trunk open and close. Basically hits this piece here and this goes slides back in here. Just uh, grab a, a firm hold and pull this out, and that'll release the entire uh, trunk lid. So there you have it. Uh, now we've actually removed all the trim pieces so that you can get to all the cabling and wiring. All right, in this part of the video, we're going to work on the uh, trunk panels here. Um, so to remove the panels, you basically do have to pull up the, uh, the cover, and then you have to, have to pull up this uh, plastic trim pieces as well um, to get the carpeting from underneath here. Uh, so first you're going to get a hooked uh, pry bar. You're going to go to the back of the trunk cover. Um, you're going to kind of lift it up and then move this out of the way. All right, so I'm going to put that in there. Okay, the next piece that we're going to do is actually the, the back piece uh, trim here trim piece of plastic so basically what you need just need to do simple is just grab it from the bottom lift up and it pops out um, there is weather stripping here as well so to remove it you have to get it pried off from the uh, weather stripping all the way around and this piece comes off all right for this part uh, for the panel what we're going to do is uh, take our um, rivet pin uh, tool I'm going to lift this up we're going to pry this cover off uh, hidden beneath here is a T30 I already have that in place, so I'm going to set that here. Take this out. Okay, next, uh, underneath this uh, coat hook in the back here, there's a cover hiding a uh, T20 screw here. So I'm going to take my trim tool and try to pry this from the bottom out. And that comes out here, this little tab. Okay, now I'm going to proceed to remove the screw as well. Hopefully I have enough space here to reach it. I had the wrong bit on. I had a T10 instead of a T20, so that's why it wasn't coming out. So let's try that again. Okay, and you have this uh, T20 bolt here. All right, next I'm going to move the uh, other latch uh, bolt from underneath there. So I'm going to lose the audio for a second. I'm just going to jump through the passenger door there. It's easier to reach. Now 
Next, we're going to move this plastic trim piece here as well. Uh, there is a rivet pin here, um, and then there's just a couple of uh, plastic um, rivet bolts that are holding it in place here. So what you'll need to do is just uh, slide a trim uh, tool underneath here so it gives you some room so you can grab it. And just pull it out. Okay. On this corner here, it's really tight, um, so you do have to pull it with some force uh, on this side as well. So I'm going to, again, move away from the camera and try to pull this out. Just to give you a view of what's holding these uh, trim pieces in place, uh, you have a metal clip here, so a pressure clip. You have another metal pressure clip, another metal pressure clip, and a plastic clip here. And if it falls out on the other side, just take it back out and seat this back in place. All right, so now all we have left here are two uh, rivet pins. So I'm going to take my uh, puller here, lift the head out, and then pull the piece out, the rivet out. Lift it up and then pry that out. So that's the last pin. Now the whole carpet piece can slide out a little. Um, and I'll say that because there's, you know, the weather stripping that's holding a little bit in place here. So you may have to pull that back just to you know, kind of loosen this up a little bit. And now that slides out. I'm going to slide the camera here and I'll kind of show you the uh, cabling that's holding it in place as well. So if I pull this out here, you have your LED light down here. Right, that's kind of holding it uh, in place. So basically what you do is push it through, twist it, and you can pull it out. Okay, then you have your emergency latch here. So again, simply equally as well. Let me move the camera angle down a little bit here. So again, push it through. All right, now to remove it, here's the tricky part. Uh, it's a triangular piece. To find the right best angle to get this out, um, what I found is that you go through the bottom piece here, send it through, and then lift it up, and then push that out. Okay, so again, uh, the best angle here is get this bottom piece through first, down towards the middle, and then put the top in and push it out. So this frees up a lot of the backspace here, and the last piece that's holding this up is the cigarette lighter adapter here. There's a little red tab over there that you gotta pop out. I don't have my mini screwdriver to pop it out. Um, there's one on both sides, right? Um, so if you get those out, you should be able to squeeze that out away from the cigarette lighter adapter. Now the left side, driver's side, is easier because you don't have all that, uh, the cabling, the cigarette lighter adapter, extra screw there. But same process, you have the bolt that's down there, you have the bolt that's down there as well. Uh, you have that trim piece uh, with the rivet fastener underneath it. Then you have the rivet fastener uh, behind the back seat over there. I'm going to um, go and do that. All right, so there you have it. Um, I have all the liners from the left side and right side pulled out enough. Um, I'm not going to totally remove it because, uh, again, I just need to get some wiring up to the top here. So I can, I can reach, uh, there's a few spots that you see down here. Um, if I need to reach my, um, my tail lights, I can pull down that little um, insulation foam that's here as well. And you can get access to the bolt that's behind there. Equally same thing here as well on the side. Not much going on here, except for you do have the, uh, the amp that's hiding back there as well. So if you want to change out your amp, uh, you can do that as well. Here you have access to the battery. So you can put a battery pack on the battery. You can put that up to a dash cam as well. Um, you can do that. So uh, pretty much that's my video. So I'm